Now we want to bring in someone else who's going to help us because, you know, even though while we live in earthquake country, not only do we maybe go through our life figuring, oh, we'll just roll with the quake, I don't know. Most of us don't have earthquake insurance either. Just 10% of the insured homeowners in the state have it. Maybe if that's you, you think it's expensive, or maybe uh, you haven't crunched the numbers to see if you could afford it and if it would help you rebuild. And so with us is uh, the CEA's uh, CEO, the California Earthquake Authority, Glenn Pomeroy. Thanks for being here, Glenn. Hey, Cindy. My pleasure. Good to have you. So this all got started uh, right after Northridge as a way to be ready, this privately funded, publicly managed group to uh, help us uh, get earthquake insurance and, and make sure that we're ready to rebuild should that big one happen, and, it, and it's devastating. Yeah, that's exactly right. CEA is a great program. It was, it was created by the state after the Northridge earthquake, which was the time at which most of the insurance companies in California decided they didn't want to have anything more to do with earthquake risk. Uh, they, they suffered severe losses after Northridge. They really didn't want to be involved in this business anymore. So the state responded, <clears throat> created this uh, this entity. It's not a state agency, but it's Think of it as a nonprofit insurance company that the state put together to help California consumers have a chance to buy earthquake insurance. So we're not in it for our shareholders. We don't we don't we don't turn a profit. We don't have shareholders. We're we're in it for California consumers to try to make earthquake insurance affordable and v- available to them. So what questions should we ask uh, in terms of whether we really need it? I mean, should we think okay, um, if we live on a fault line, yeah. If we have a slab or a you know a kind of a post and pier foundation, yeah, or w- those kind of things, or yeah. You know, um, this shakeout exercise, it's such an incredibly impressive uh, event in which at one moment in time on Thursday morning, we're going to have some 10 million Californians thinking about earthquake risk. Well, uh, during this time, during this week, it's a great opportunity for people to be asking themselves, uh, all right, am I, am I comfortable with my uh, financial preparation for an earthquake? W- would I have the financial strength to be able to recover if an earthquake uh, produced devastating losses on my home? fact of the matter is... Uh, it, uh, the standard homeowner's insurance policy specifically, absolutely, does not cover earthquake risk. So the only way that someone can have protection uh, is to buy a separate earthquake insurance policy. Someone then really needs to do the financial analysis themselves. Do they have, uh, uh, do they have assets tied up in their home that they wish to protect? Do they want to make sure they have the financial strength to rebuild if an earthquake produces devastating losses to their home? And if they do, they really ought to check into uh, an earthquake insurance policy. We've been in this now for 15 years. We've got the best science available to us. We have extensive computer models. uh, um, And we have basically the interests of the California consumer front and foremost in in what we do. So someone could check out our website, earthquakeauthority.com, put in some, just crunch some simple uh, uh, information into a, a premium calculator, find out how much that policy would cost them, and then make the decision, you know, is, 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 is it worth it to me to have the financial peace of mind or to have the peace of mind to know that my family could recover if an earthquake hit our home? And, and it's really an individual decision at that point. All right. Glenn Pomeroy, thanks so much. Uh, the CEO of the California Earthquake Authority, and thanks to you for helping us uh, provide this special edition of Home Wizards. You can find out more information by going to earthquakeauthority.com. And uh, we have more knowledge to share because up next we're going to find out about kids and their safety as we talk with a very important National Council all about keeping kids safe when the big one comes. You're listening to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. We're back after this. So have you been watching the news about all the earthquakes? Of course, you've been listening to this show, thinking about it. With all the shaking going on, have you thought about buying earthquake insurance for your home? Well, since January, nearly 40 earthquakes greater than the magnitude of six have been felt around the world, including two in California, a good shaker in the north and even greater shaking here in the south. So far in California, we have been lucky, a minimum damage to our homes and no lives lost. But scientists say that there is a 99% chance a big one will hit us in California at any time in the next 30 years. If you have homeowners coverage but no earthquake insurance, you're not covered for potential earthquake damage to your home. Did you know that? Well, purchasing earthquake insurance will give you peace of mind, knowing that you won't have to depend on others to recover. I'd like to tell you about the CEA. You just heard him. That's the California Earthquake Authority, the leading provider of earthquake insurance in California. CEA policy premiums are based on individual homes sold by your homeowner's insurance agent whom you already know and trust. So to learn more about earthquake insurance, go here, earthquakeauthority.com. We don't know when or where the next one will strike, but with CEA insurance, you'll get the strength to rebuild. Visit EarthquakeAuthority.com today.